Good morning everyone, Amy Valdivia here, starting off 2019 with questions and answers. So during the, the holiday break, I actually was contemplating changing up the format of the videos and uh, scheduled a few things differently. Um, however, while on break, I was receiving a lot of questions and realized that truly this, in 2018, that was the whole reason I started this and that was the challenge was they challenged me to give out the information that I have and share it uh, because a lot of people want to know and if one person's asking remember we learned that in school that there's probably a whole lot of people around that also have, want that question answered but they're too afraid to ask so I um, got, a, got a bunch of questions here and um, I'm gonna start off today with just one um, maybe two depending on time let's see what we can we can accomplish here um, interest rates have gone up borrower has PMI on their loan and wants to refinance, although doesn't want a higher interest rate. So it really said, you know, is it the right thing for me to do to refinance even though I do want to remove PMI? So I went to my trusty little calculator, $124. That's how much my borrower will save, only $124. Not a whole lot of savings. However, um, number one, we are removing the PMI Unfortunately, number two, yes, the interest rate is going up a little bit. So we dug into it and said, let's really see if this is worth doing. With $124, we decided what if we say, instead of just spending the $124 a month on some additional coffee runs or dinner, dinner outings, how about we continue putting that $124 back into the home loan? That means Although your mortgage payment, your new coupon is going to show $124 less, keep paying the original payment that you were paying on the prior loan. If my borrowers do that, and I'm using my notes because this is a lot of information, if they do that, they will reduce their mortgage. It's a 30 year mortgage that I'm putting them on. They will reduce their mortgage by 39 payments. What does that mean? They'll pay off their loan in 26 years and nine months. Just by adding $124 to their home loan. The $124 that they're already spending today anyway. All they're doing is shifting it. What does it mean? They're going to save $39,902 in interest over the course of the next 26 years and nine months. Now what if the property value never went up? So I'm telling you today, what your approximate property value is, and over the course of the next 26 years and nine months, your property value never goes up. We know that's not really true, but let's just talk, let's just use it for sake of, of this exercise. If the property value never went up, they paid off their mortgage in 26 years and nine months, they would have a net worth increase of $79,033. It's pretty good off of $124 a month. So is it a good time to refinance even though your interest rate is going up a little bit? Yep, this particular case, I think it shows you that it is. If you have a specific scenario, give me a call. I can walk you through it. We can definitely um, look at the calculators and see if it's, it's worth the time, money, and energy to do this. I have other questions. We'll go through it in the next couple days and uh, look forward to uh, having you tune in in 2019. Like and share, it really, really helps. Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful day.